You're going to do what you're told, when you're told, because you work here for me and you get paid to do what I say. Do you understand? Only thing I understand is I'm about to catch an assault charge, okay? I don't care if you're a supervisor, advisor, sun visor, bud visor. I don't care what kind of visor you are. Listen to me. You're going to talk to me like you got some sense. Or I'm going to knock the little bitch you do have out of you. You understand that? Let's just, let's just take a step back, okay? Maybe I came out of the gate a little bit too strong, but look, man. I've talked to HR probably six times a day about you, okay? Whatever you're doing in the break room, whatever you're talking about, you got to stop. Okay, you got to stop. All right, because there's a couple women that apparently have heard what you've been saying, and, you know, they're, they're, not, uh, they're not real appreciative of hearing it when they're trying to go in there and just get something cold to drink. Okay, well, why are they eavesdropping on my conversation I'm having with somebody else? Shouldn't they be the ones in trouble for violating my privacy? Okay, the conversation that me and Jim and Chipping was having was between us, not anybody else. We weren't talking loud or anything. They were just getting up all in our business. That's not my fault. Well, you know, they're not really invading your privacy if you're in a public break room where everybody can go and you're talking about stuff. Maybe you could just explain to me what you and Jim were talking about so I can maybe understand what was said and why it was so bad. Because right now, all, all I know is you were talking about some grotesque something. I, I don't really know. Could you, you know, explain? Well, when me and Jim get together on break, we like to talk about mythical creatures being real. And if they were coming to attack us, how we would protect ourselves, theoretically, you know. And today's topic was just, you know, how would you protect yourself against a vampire? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm following so far. Nothing bad yet. And my thing was, you know, inevitably the vampire's going to get you because, you know, they live forever, supposedly. Well, so I was like, you know, I would cover my whole entire body in garlic. Except my dick. So when they did come to get me, you know, they got they only got one spot to suck from. And there it is. What? What, what, what do you mean there it is? Look, oh, that is the smartest option here. Okay? If it's a dude vampire, the whole time he's killing me, I'm gonna be like, eh, barely fit that one in your mouth, can't you, son? You know, I'm gonna, the man of shit, I'm gonna be able to talk. And that brief moment is unreal. Unreal. Okay? And... The other side of it, I've never seen an unattractive female vampire in any movie. So, I mean, that's still a good way to go out. You know, her lips wrapped around it. Look, all I'm saying is they shouldn't be eavesdropping on me and Jim's conversation. You know, maybe they shouldn't be eavesdropping on your conversations. But, you know, even if they had, which apparently they did, they had to envision you lathering your whole body in garlic, except a specific part of it. And, you know, you can't not imagine it. You can't not imagine the scenario. So I understand why they went and reported you because that's not something I would want with my morning honey bun, the thought of you covered in garlic like that. So look, all I'm saying is maybe, maybe you and Jim can start having these conversations over in the shipping docks by the bays instead of in the break room where all of our other employees don't want to hear that. How about, how about that? There's nothing wrong with these conversations me and Jim are having, okay? They're just hypothetical situations. Everybody else would have answered the same. Look, R Roscoe, Roscoe, hypothetical here, you know? Okay, mythical creature, vampire coming after you. You know they're coming. How are you going to protect yourself? Oh, yeah. Easy answer, son. Everything covered in garlic except my ass crack. I know when they're coming. I'm eating nothing but Taco Bell for a solid seven days before they show up. You're killing me. I'm shitting all over you. It's the only way I'm going out. Damn. That's way better than mine. Why didn't I think of that? Why? What'd you say? Oh, well, I, I was going to do the whole garlic thing, too, except I was going to leave my dick dry. And, you know, I was just going to talk shit the whole time they was having to suck it. Well, I mean, that's not the worst, you know. I mean, you still got a 50% shot as a super hot vampire. You know, you never see unattractive female vampires ever in movies. But, yeah, I mean, I just feel like, you know, they're going to have to fucking bite against the flow because I'm going to be fucking Gorditos and Crunchwrap Supremes three, four times a day. And I feel like mine's going to be a lot more masculating than whatever you're talking about. Can we please stop talking about this, okay? I just got another text from HR about this. I can't keep doing this, okay? Can we just drop this right here now? Okay, yeah, yeah. I gotta go anyway. I'll be right back. What do you have to go that fast? I gotta go find Jim, man. He's gonna shit himself when he hears this new revelation we've had.